Good afternoon, ladies, gents, guys and gals. Hope you are all well. Welcome to Filming Down South UK and a special welcome to any new viewers. Today we are at Yeovilton Fleet Air Arm Museum. So it's, it's expensive to get in here, twenty two pounds, but let's see if it was worth it. We decide in the end. You could decide too and leave your answers in the comments below. So come on, let's get on, have a look around. So, here's the first hall we come to, a few of the older planes, and a, a couple of the very first built by the looks of it. Yeah. So look at these helicopters. They are massive. Really are. Another one there. Just look at the size of those blades. Absolutely huge. I suspect these are the rescue ones, but there's a Royal Navy one there. We go up. Have a look at the inside of it in a minute. People out there, so we'll hang on and have a look in a minute. So, folks, this is a rescue one, and these are absolutely massive. And you know, um, they got to be big for all the weathers, and they, they got to, they got to go through and all that. Absolutely massive. So where's the cockpit, folks? Let's be tuned over here. That's where the crew sits, I should imagine. They are massive. A bit. Here's the flight coordinator, I should imagine. Two pilots. All these instruments, it makes you wonder how they manage with it all. But then I guess you've got a few crew, and it's something they've studied for years. You have got to take your hats off to them. So here's the size of it, folks. It's, it's, it's not till you're right up on top of them that you realise just how big they are. I'm not going to tell you what uh, everyone's called in all that real day, freezing information. But yeah, just got to. Uh, appreciate the size of them. That is the Royal Navy Rescue. Here's Hall 2 folks, so, some of the bigger planes now, but look at the, um, look at the size of the missiles that they, uh, that they would have sent through. Detonation there. That is absolutely massive. Makes you wonder how it gets up, up off the off the ground with the uh, torpedoes or missiles the size of this. They're huge. 
So I'm just going to show you a selection of them in a minute in hall two. If you could see this one here, it's got its uh, obviously it's got its wings folded back, but it's just amazing what they can do. And in the distance there, you've got a few more. There you are, got a mock up of an old soldier on his bike, on his travels. Another helicopter there, and here is a Corsair KD431. <laughs> I only really know it from from reading it off the uh, off the information board. But I'm guessing this was a jump jet. If any of you know what this is, certainly looks like a jump jet anyway. It's again. Look how the wings fold up. So we're folks, we're gradually going through time now. Unbelievable. There's a statue. Captain Eric Brown. Just look at the size of these engines. As I said before, it just makes you wonder how they got these planes up off the ground with all this, uh, with all this size of this stuff. That was a bit of Bristolian then, wasn't it? <laughs> But yeah, must be so much power in these engines. Now that's a Harrier jump jet, definitely. in front of us look it's the old Spitfire what a plane that was wow <laughs>
In November 1946, British and French forces landed in Egypt to restore international control over the Suez Canal. The aircraft carriers HMS Hermes and HMS Prince were the British and French forces. The British and French forces Falkland, back in 80 this was, Falkland, the conflict, the people. There's a real concord at Falkland. Concord here isn't so good as the one at British Aerospace Filton Packway. So if you look back over my videos, I'm not knocking Concord by the way, but if you look back over my videos, look for the British Aerospace Filton Packway. Have a look at the Concord on that. All the interior is leather seats and, date, and it looks dated back to the 80s, but have a look back on that video if you're interested. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to let you make your own mind up about the uh, about the museum. I did miss the one of the um, the exhibition of the of the ship, but that that was on the um, one of the top ones. No, that's the only thing I missed out. So yeah, don't forget to like, share. And subscribe especially subscribe costs nothing so take care folks i'll see you in the next one bye for now